What's up guys? You're probably wondering why this is a bit of a vlog style start to this video. If you guys are new here, welcome. I'm Keaton. I would love if you guys subscribed to my channel. It would mean so, so much to me. I'm basically going to be taking you guys along with my night routine. So I am going to show you guys my nighttime skincare routine because a lot of you asked for it in my morning skincare routines. I will link that down below where I put a little eye bar so you guys can go watch that. But a lot of you guys asked for a nighttime skincare routine. So I'm going to that but this is kind of these are my favorite videos to watch just like winding down everyday routine videos I need to clean my room I need to wash my face and get ready for bed organize get ready for school and things like that so I figured I would vlog it this is just an everyday college nighttime routine so bring it back 2014 YouTube here I just walked in the door I just finished up with my classes and I'm ready to wash my face now because I've had this makeup on all day but before I do I wanted to quickly thank audible for sponsoring this video as you guys know audible is an amazing site that you guys can go on to listen to so so many options of audiobooks I'm currently listening to a serial killers daughter because as you guys know anytime I'm doing anything whether I'm doing my makeup I'm curling my hair I'm cleaning I'm planning out my day anything I am always listening to true crime this is a known fact about me I just wake up and listen to true crime so with audible it's really good because I can be washing my face at night or I can be cleaning my room or doing a bunch of different things but I don't have to be sitting watching a show so I love being able to just listen to it and actually a serial killer's daughter is really good it's by Kerry Rawson and it's basically about her dad being a serial killer and he admitted to killing like 10 people and all this crazy stuff so it's all of her recounts you know as going through it as a younger child so it's really interesting to listen to if you guys are interested in audible you guys can get a free 30-day trial which includes one audiobook and two audible originals it also has a bunch of different fitness programs on there so you guys can go to that in the description bar below it is audible.com slash keaton or you guys can text keaton to 500 500 i would really love if some of you guys gave me your feedback on a serial killer's daughter because I'm really interested in it but I want to know how you guys feel about it so you guys go in the description bar below and you can also comment down below if you guys have already listened to it on audible another thing is that if you don't end up liking it say I recommend you a book or someone else recommends you an audiobook you guys can actually swap it on audible which I think is really awesome so that's really cool that audible does that so thank you so much to audible for sponsoring this video and I'm gonna get right into my nighttime routine I'm actually already wearing a pajama top, but I wore this to class with jeans and boots. <laughs> I wore this pajama top to class, but it's whatever. It's from Misguided, and yeah, that's that's that. Okay. The first step to coming home in a night routine is taking the fake lashes off. They just, they're not it. They gotta go. My makeup is really pretty today, so I'm honestly super sad about taking it off but it is what it is. So this is the skincare portion of my night routine. So the first thing that I'm going to recommend to you guys, if you guys take your makeup off with just a makeup wipe and then you go to sleep, no, don't do that anymore. This is what you need. I know it's expensive, but it is the Touch Up Pure One Step Chamomile Cleansing Oil. It is amazing. And I have rebought this multiple times, like over and over. Like it's not a product that I am just like, oh, it's fine, whatever. Like if I start to run low on it, I go and buy two more at Sephora because I'm insane. I actually broke the nozzle of it where it pumps out though, so I have to like be really ragged and take it out with this thing. So basically, what you do is you take the oil, like so. Honestly, you can do this with any makeup cleanser oil or any type of breakdown oil but this Tatcha one I've tried many because I've tried to find dupes for this one because it is expensive I honestly think it's like $60 or so but I've tried to find dupes for it because it's expensive and none are as good as this one is it also smells really good it is chamomile oil so like obviously it's amazing but watch this with my eye makeup so the oil is on my hands I just go like this Guys, I'm about to look insane for a second. Like, actually insane. Should this be my thumbnail? Am I pretty? So basically, as you can see, it literally breaks down all of my makeup. Next up, I'm going to be using this from Vanity Planet. This basically takes off all my makeup. It has a silicone bristle brush right here, and it is amazing. It's perfect for taking off your makeup, especially with this. So this is the first step that I do, is I'm going to just lightly, and then you could tap it again and go for a faster but it's gonna scrub all of my makeup off perfectly normally while i do this i turn on my audiobook and i wash my face 
and I listen. As you can see, the makeup on my face is basically off. I have some like eye makeup underneath here, but this doesn't really get, this just initially takes my makeup off, but it doesn't really get under my skin. So now I'm gonna change the bristle out to the exfoliating one on this because now I'm going to like scrub my face. I don't know what face wash I wanna use today. I kind of wanna use this one. This is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Clay Cleanser Mask. So I love this one because it is also a mask. If you leave it on, it hardens, um, but it's also a really, really nice cleanser. I apply the facial cleanser. This makes sure that it's like better than just using my hands and washing my face. It actually like works on my skin. So now, I'm gonna I don't know if it's showing up because it won't focus, but it's super, super dirty. So I'm gonna rinse it off. So that's the last thing for scrubbing my face. Obviously I have eye makeup on, so I'm using my Garnier Skin Micellar Water and I'm just gonna go over my brows because that's where most of my makeup doesn't come off. In my hairline, because if you have blonde hair, you know it's always orange. You guys can see there's orange. And then I'm gonna go over my eyes and I'm just gonna get all the eyeliner and mascara completely off because that is not what we want. So now as you can see, my face is completely clear. It feels amazing. This cleanser, it just makes your skin feel so tingly and perfect. This is an amazing cleanser. It's affordable. I'm pretty sure it's at like CVS, Target, anything like that. This is an amazing cleanser. It is the Neutrogena Deep Clean Purifying Cleanser. It is so freaking good. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna stop talking about it. So next up, I like to do moisturizing. I mentioned this in my uh, morning skincare routine. Or no, I mentioned this in my favorites video. So this is my new favorite staple product, my favorite thing in the entire world. So this is the CEO Glow Vitamin C Turmeric Face Oil by Sunday Riley. So when I got this in the mail, I originally was just like so excited and I shared it with you guys, you know, thinking it was just like accessible at like Sephora and things like that. It turns out it's actually like a super exclusive oil and it comes in like a gift set. I don't even know, but I found it on the Sunday Riley site in a gift set that is $180, I know. I would never ever spend $180 on just this, so I'm using it lightly. It isn't just this sold in the gift set, it's two other items, but like I would really only be buying it for this. So I'm hoping that Sunday Riley or Sephora or someone just like releases just the oil and not just in the gift packaging because that's the only place I could find it. Basically it's just the best oil of my life, it makes my skin so rejuvenated but the reason that it's only used at night mainly is because it's super like greasy on your skin and not greasy i mean it is greasy but in a really good way in the morning it makes your skin feel like it's brand new so i basically just do just like this all along my face as you can see it's stripping everywhere okay and then I rub it in so you guys can see that my skin looks super oily now, which it is, and that's fine because I leave this on and I go to sleep and we're good to go. The next thing I use is my Derma E Scar Gel. So you guys asked me to post my before and after results of this. It says on the packaging, which I'm applying it on my acne scars, which are all right on my cheekbones but it says on the packaging to use it for up to eight weeks to see results i will post let me move right here this is my before and after pictures so far of using it for three weeks so that's me using it for three weeks i feel like there is a bit of a difference i think i probably need to use it a little bit longer but i apply it day and night at night i normally apply a heavier coat of it and i really like it so far um, I know a lot of you have recommended rosehip oil, but I really like the Derma E one right now, so we'll see. And my results aren't super drastic in the next few weeks, then I'll definitely try some rosehip oil, but this is what I like right now, so that is that for my skin. Now I'm going to go in with my Mario Badesco drying lotion, and I'm going to apply this to just a few 
little guys that I have and I don't leave this on for long because I don't really like when it dries my skin out that much but I have one right here and it's just not it and I have another one you guys can see right there where else do I have them so the next thing that I need to do, which is normally I normally do when I come home, is clean and tidy up my room. So this probably doesn't look like a mess to you, but I just don't normally have all this crap sitting here. My room also looks super cluttered, like there's just like dishes over here. I have some mail, which I'll open up in a second to show you guys what I got. I just picked up some packages. I have some fruit that I ate this morning. I have some other cereal. I have my tanning lotion. Like, all of this stuff just, like, doesn't go here. My bed's, like, barely made. So I just want to tidy up and clean, and just that's what I'm going to do. During this entire cleaning process, this is about the time that I listen to my audiobook. I'm going to take my shoes off. This is when I listen to my audiobook. It is calming to me. I am sorry that true crime might not be calming to some of you guys. I literally, you guys were commenting on my last video about how I like watch Ted Bundy before I go to bed. Like that's just how my mind works. Like true crime and people talking about true crime, for some reason the voice is super soothing to me. So this is when I like to wind down and listen to my favorite cases. So I'm going to put on Serial Killer's Daughter right now while I vacuum and tidy and clean. Here is my beautiful vacuum. You guys are also probably wondering, why did you make your bed if it's nighttime? I don't like to just sit in my bed right when I get home because I'll go to bed, I'll go to bed, I'll go to bed at like 7.30. So I make it all clean and nice so that I don't do that. But here I am in my slippers and still in my jeans and pajama top, but I'll change in a second and then we can get ready for bed. My room feels so much cleaner now. Like I know it doesn't make that much of a difference to you guys. But my floor is all vacuumed. This looks neat. I also bought some new candles. This one is so good. It is Georgia peach. It smells amazing. I bought this one. It's cinnamon spice vanilla. But I haven't smelled it yet. So I don't know. But it seems like it smells good. I love that this is like all clean now. I can actually see my desk. I love when my little light is on at night. It just makes my room feel so homey. My cute little bed and everything like that. I also vacuumed in here and tidied up the counter and stuff like that. So, so normally I have packages when I come home from my classes because I order a lot of things. So ugh, I'm going to open them up for you guys. This is my nightly routine. I love coming home to mail. I mean, my mail is the best. Can you just know you have a package waiting for you? You guys are going to die at this one. But, I ordered Snoop Dogg's cookbook. It is from Crook to Cook, and it is so good. So, my friend actually had this, and we made orange chicken from uh, Snoop Dogg's recipe, and it was the best freaking orange chicken ever. And I really want to learn how to cook, and every single time I Google meals, there's just so many, and I just get too overwhelmed, and I feel like this is just simple enough and basically like the recipes I want to learn how to make like I want to learn how to make ribs and like cute but I don't know I just want to learn how to make so many things and so I feel like his book is just perfect for that like there's literally all these options there's like chicken and waffles there's lobster ribs cinnamon rolls cornbread all the stuff that I want to learn how to make. So I ordered that book. And then I know exactly what this is. I got this off of Dote. It is from Revolve. So I used to have a cropped denim jacket. That was a black denim jacket from Topshop. But I have no idea what happened to it. I wore it out one time. Like I wore it somewhere. And I can't remember the last place I wore it. And I have no idea if I left it at a friend's house. I have no idea if I let someone borrow it. Like it literally vanished off of the face of the earth. But it was my favorite cropped denim jacket so I found this one on Revolve and it's really cute it's literally just cropped distressed I kind of like this one be better because the collar if you guys can see is like super distressed it's by the brand by the way I don't know it's really cute I got it in a size small and I'm so excited because every single day I've been trying to like throw a jacket on like with my like leather leggings and I just don't have one to wear so I'm really excited because I needed this jacket 
So now that my room is clean, my skin is clear, I vacuumed, I feel super neat and organized. I am sitting at my little vanity and what I like to do every single night is I have like a checklist in the beginning of the day in my planner. This is my Erin Condren planner. I have a checklist and classes and things that I need to do. So I like to go through this at the end of the night and I like to highlight the things that I completed so that you know I feel accomplished from the day. So I'm gonna highlight the class that I went to. I had a test today and it was really terrible. Um, I'm gonna highlight the other class that I went to. So the next two things that it says I need to do, I need to edit my Get Ready With Me. So you guys have already seen it by now. If you guys haven't, what are you doing? It is my Valentine's Day Get Ready With Me. I know it's not Valentine's Day anymore, but like it's so cute or whatever. So go look at it. So I need to edit that tonight. And yeah, I think that's it. I just have that to do. I finished my homework from my other classes, so the only thing that I have left to do tonight is edit the video. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then I will be able to highlight it, and I'm gonna feel super accomplished. Really, really, a lot of glow. I'm gonna be. Oh, without me talking anymore, is the Smashbox a lot of glow? I'm gonna lit. Okay, so as I was editing, I just realized that I'm really hungry. So what I want to do is I want to reheat the orange chicken that I made from Snoop Dogg's cookbook from the other day. But I realized that I need a little bit more of the sauce on the orange chicken. Like I need a little bit more orange chicken sauce. So I'm going to cook up some of the sauce really quick, throw it in a pan, reheat my chicken. So let's go do that. Oh, it's really hot. Okay. So that's my plan for the night. I'm going to finish eating my dinner and then I'm going to go to sleep. So I hope you guys liked this little college night routine. This is just my everyday night routine. This is what I do. Thank you so much to Audible again for sponsoring this video. Again, you guys can go to audible.com slash Keaton or text Keaton to 500, 500 and you guys can get a 30 day free trial. I will also link it in the description bar down below. Thank you so much again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys like this video. You guys can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I am always posting on there and keeping you guys updated with what I'm doing in like my day-to-day -day life. So I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.